Hey, a very good evening. So a lot of you do ask me as to what all positions are open for non net and gate aspirants, the PhD positions, which also are funded or equally well funded as national level fellowships like CSI, net GRF or institute fellowships. Um, so today I got to know of such a fellowship and I thought I should make you aware of it. Um, the fellowship is provided by the Ashoka university. So it's a private university, um, which was started off with the aim of matching, you know, reputed international universities. And, uh, currently, uh, it is more, uh, you know, uh, renowned for liberal arts, like political science, economics, uh, literature. Uh, now uh, gradually it is also, you know, um, shifting its, uh, focus to core sciences like mathematics, biology, chemistry, and physics. Um, so they have come up with a PhD program in chemistry, and these are the fields in which, uh, you know, you can pursue uh, your uh, PhD. Now talking about the position. So as you can see over here, the PhD positions, um, you, you should have a MSc degree, right? And then, um, if you are not net or gate qualified, then you'll have to give a written entrance test followed by the interview. Whereas if you have a net GRF or if you have a gate qualification, then you can directly set, set for the interview right now. If I talk about the funding, uh, funding is pretty, um, generous 35,000, uh, when you join PhD and when you get, uh, you know, uh, promoted to SRF, that is senior research fellow. Um, then you will be pro provided with 40,000, right? Apart from that, 20,000 will be the contingency grant per annum for your expenses, like traveling to national conferences or some other, you know, uh, random expenditure or miscellaneous expenditure. And apart from that, um, you'll also be getting a maximum of two lakhs for attending international conferences, right? Now, if I talk about the eligibility, so you can pursue, you need to have a master's in chemistry, physics, biology, right? Apart from that, uh, you should have 55% in your master's degree. Now, what is the application process? So the application process uh, consists of a short write up. Okay. Um, this would mostly be your statement of purpose. Like for international universities, you write statement of purpose or a cover letter. It's very similar to that. Uh, if you want to know more about how to write a statement of purpose, I have made a video for which I'll give you the description in the top right corner. Okay. Um, anyway, um, so this is one thing. The second thing is that you need to provide your CV with the educational qualifications and experiences. And at last you need to provide one letter of recommendation from someone, um, whom you have studied under, like it could be a master's or your bachelor's professor who, who, who has taught you or, and who would be like, uh, who would be willing to write some good words, um, uh, for you. And it could also be your master's supervisor. So if you have some research experience and you have done that under some supervisor, or if you have, uh, you know, done some research in a project position or in an internship, you can take a recommendation from them as well. So basically you need to provide one letter of recommendation. Uh, the deadline for the application is 30th of May, 2021. And the selection procedure, um, as I told you is either you can directly go for the interview if you're net GRF or gate qualified, otherwise you would have to give an entrance exam. And then after the entrance exam, you will have to give an interview, right? Now, one important aspect, uh, that I wanted to highlight is like, I told you it's, it's a new, um, like it has recently started. It's, uh, you know, um, uh, venture into the basic sciences. So as you can see, there are only five faculty members and, um, uh, among them, professor Saurav Par is a visiting professor. So I would say permanent faculties are four and all of them are new, uh, new in the sense they have just started their research career as independent researchers or as professors. So as you can see, all of them are assistant professors over here. You can click the link, uh, to the respective professors and check out their research interest. Okay. And, uh, yeah, one aspect that is very, very important is, and I, I'm glad that they were quite transparent about it, uh, that when asked about the uh, facilities provided in the chemistry department, so they have said that basic facilities are there, but you know, some instruments which are very, very useful to carry out research, for example, FTIR, um, NMR and XRD are not available currently, and they would be set, they would be set up next year. And uh, currently they have collaborations with these universities like DU, IIT Delhi, Amity University and Punjab Univers University through which uh, they might be characterizing the compounds, right? So currently they do not have these instruments and it would be set up next year. So the only drawback I would say is that it's currently a new setup. So it would take time, you know, for, for them to build the resources to carry out research. So that is the only drawback. But that could be an advantage also for someone who is not net or gate qualified, because if you really want to do some research and you have research experience, but, um, you know, you were not able to qualify net or gate. Um, I think most of the CSI, UGC, net GRF candidates, or those who have their own fellowship would not be applying currently to Ashoka university. So here you have a chance 
wherein you know um if you have some research experience you can definitely apply for this because i think you have a brighter chance since net jrf candidates might not apply to this particular university um so if your application is good and you have some research experience definitely you have a chance you know of backing a fellowship for yourself right but like i said the only drawback is it's it's currently new and it's setting up so it would take some time so with your own judgment you can make a decision whether you want to apply over here or not and i wish you all the very best also if you like this video just do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and also if you think that this video was not for you but your juniors or your seniors might uh, you know uh, be benefited by this video do share it with them um i would be really grateful and if you want me to make a video on some other topic do let me know down in the comment section so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video hey guys so i am a verified educator on an academy and along with that i am also available on the an academy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the an academy plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the an academy for that all you need to do is go to the an academy website or download the an academy learning app and search my name over there that is SETHI once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the an academy platform all right